Chairman Tom Sigrin with us, as well as General Manager David Boyle and Rebecca uh, Rene, who uh, we're proud to announce a seven-year, $49 million contract with. We're going to try to keep the conference call to about 20 minutes today, um, since it is a game day, and Tech will go about his, uh, his game day business. Um, if you guys can just keep your uh, keep your phone lines muted, we're going to have David, Tom, and Pekka all have some opening remarks, and then we'll offer it up to questions. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to David at this time. Uh, Kevin, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Um, as Kevin said, today we're announcing the signing of Pekka Rennie to uh, the biggest deal in the Predators franchise history. Seven-year contract for $7 million a year for a total of $49 million. Today also happens to be like the 29th birthday. Uh, I suspect he'll always uh, remember this, this day. Uh, so much of the game of hockey revolves around uh, the goaltending position. Uh, so many of us believe that you build your team from the goaltender out. Today, in our estimation, we assigned the best goaltender in the National Hockey League, like Rennie. I could give us the best opportunity moving forward to backstop the National Predators in their quest to win the Stanley Cup. We've been very fortunate uh, to have Pekka for the last three years in, in Nashville. Uh, in his rookie season, he played 52 games, seven shutouts, 2.38 goals against average. His second season, he followed up with 58 games, seven shutouts, a 2.53 save percentage. And last year, he was fantastic, appearing in 64 games. He got six shutouts. His goals against average was 2.12, uh, and his save percentage was 9.30. In addition, he was one of the best goaltenders in the league in, in shootouts. In his second in the Vesna Trophy voting, four MVP voting, and he was named to the NHL's second All-Star team. His last win was last Saturday versus Anaheim, which was also his 100th win in the NHL, and that shutout was his 22nd of his career, the most of, uh, in Predators history. Clearly, Becca is an elite player in the National Hockey League. Uh, when I take you back for a minute to 2004 when we drafted Pekka, uh, we selected a 258 pick overall in the draft. From a scouting perspective, Pekka played very few games that year. In fact, uh, our scouts who got an eye on him said that uh, if you want to really get an eye on, on this goaltender, you've got to come to the warm-up. Hardly ever played, so... Big kudos for that identification to our scouting staff to be that good that they could identify Pekka in, 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 in the warm-ups. Uh, as I've said in the last few months uh, uh, to a lot of media and to our, our fans, our, our stated goal in Nashville is to retain our core, our core, core player leaders, and, and, and our players have great respect for, for Pekka as a teammate and as a person. And this is the first step, the signing is the first step in that process. Uh, we believe, as a franchise, we are in this window of opportunity. Uh, we're locking up players like Pekka for the next seven years uh, uh, every, every year. So this was the start of it, and uh, to, to, to add to this in the, in the near future. Uh, I'd like to thank the ownership for believing in what uh, we in Hockey Ops have in place and what we're in reinforcing their commitment uh, to winning by encouraging, that, encouraging me and us to get this uh, deal done. Uh, and right now, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Tom Sigrin, our chairman. Tom? Thanks, David. Uh, I just have to say that David and all the people in this hockey operations group, scouts, the coaches, have done just a terrific job of, of putting our team together. As you probably know, we have the youngest team in the National Hockey League, but it's also a team that we believe is very talented, and we are closer than ever this year to our ultimate goal of winning the Stanley Cup. Uh, to our goal of making Nashville an elite NHL franchise, a franchise uh, with a real chance to win the Cup, not just once, but every year. So we have a young team. There is no doubt that the core of the team has to include Pekka Remy. Uh, this signing reinforces our commitment to our fans, uh, our team, and to our city. Pekka embodies, Pekka embodies everything we want in a Predator player. He's a team player. He goes all in every game. He's a terrific individual on and off the ice. He not only wants to win, but he wants to bring a Stanley Cup to Nashville. The ownership is committed to Pekka 
and to his teammates to doing what it takes to make that a reality. And this year's team now has the highest payroll in franchise history, and this signing ensures that it's going up even more. But we see it as an investment in the present and in the future. Um, our ownership group came together a couple of years ago to make sure the franchise stayed in Nashville. That's no longer a question. Today our goal is to have a Stanley Cup winner in Nashville, and PECA signing is a big step uh, towards that goal. So congratulations, PECA, and uh, turn it over to you. Thanks, Tom. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, special day for me and my, for my family. And uh, I'm very fortunate to be in this position that I am today. And there's, there's a lot of people I, uh, I want to thank. Uh, well, first of all, uh, Tom and the ownership group. I want to thank you guys. Uh, I know we all want to win. And uh, we're going to do it here in Nashville. Uh, second, uh, David and, uh, and the hockey department for uh, believing in me and uh, since, since you guys drafted me and uh, to till this day, um, all the coaches I've had throughout my uh, days in uh, this organization throughout Milwaukee and uh, here in Nashville, Barry, uh, Brent Peterson, Peter Horacek, uh, Lane Lambert, and Nashville, Mitch Korn, my goalie coach, and, uh, and also my, my teammates. Uh, they've been wonderful, and I, I've been extremely lucky to have a, have a team in front of me like I've, I've had. Uh, All right, we're, uh, we'll go ahead and, Becca, did you have anything else, or? Yeah, we can get uh, started, yep. We'll go ahead and, uh, and extend, uh, extend it to questions now, if you can just uh, state your name and affiliation and then who your question is for, uh, we'll go from there, thanks. Heck, David Beauclair with the City Paper. Uh, you know, why do the deal now? Why not wait till free agency and, and see what maybe was out there for you? Hi, David. Uh, I think the biggest thing, first choice uh, since the start, was to was to stay in Nashville and sign with uh, with uh, with the Nashville Birders. And, uh, and uh, I think the, since the start, it was the you know sooner the better. Uh, so we get that. Uh, Get that uh, contract done, and uh, you know I feel very fortunate with uh, with the you know help of uh, our ownership and my agent. Uh, we got it done, and with David, uh, we got it done uh, fairly soon. Pekka, this is Kevin Allen from USA Today. Did you have any reservation about signing, uh, not knowing what's going to happen with Ryan Suter or Shea Weber? Well, I think. There's, there's always uh, you can only only uh, you know make uh, cho choices on on your own and uh, uh, obviously I've had a luxury to play with those guys uh, in three years now and uh, I want to I want to keep playing with elite players and uh, I I know we are doing our best to you know to get them uh, signed here. Uh, but uh, you know, this is my my decision. I, I was the first one out of uh, us three to sign, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully those two two guys are coming next. Uh, this is Josh Cooper with the Tennessean uh, for Tom Sigurin. Um Tom, just uh, in terms of the team and the finances, and and being able to sign all three. Where are you guys in terms of that, and what type of statement does re-signing Pekka you think makes for the other two? Well, I have to think about what it makes for the other two, but I, I hope it makes a statement how committed we are to winning and, uh, and to not just to being a, a respectable franchise, but, but over the long term to become an elite franchise that, that competes for the Cup every year and that has the kind of players on the team we do a fabulous job through David and his hockey operations people of developing young players. And the best example of that are the, are the three that everyone talks about, Pekka, uh, Ryan, and, uh, and, uh, and Shea, uh, Shea Weber. And uh, those, are, those are people we want to keep with this organization for the long term, and, and, uh, and we are committed to do everything we can to make that happen.
um, it, it just so just turned out that Tekka was the first one that that, that we were in a position to negotiate with and, and, um, and bring to conclusion. But we have every intent of, uh, you know, of, of signing both uh, Shea and uh, and uh, Ryan, and uh, and we're going to do everything we can to make that happen because they're they're. We're not a team that's built on stars. We're a team that plays as a team and never quits and goes all in all the time. And uh, so we're not a star-based team, but these guys are sort of homegrown. They're the core of our team. They're, 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 they're just people who we want to have around and can, can be the core of a Stanley Cup winning team for years to come. So we're aggressively and actively uh, pursuing the uh, Shay and Ryan, and we're we're hopeful that we can get them to sign for the long term. Pekka, it's uh, Jim Matheson in Edmonton calling. I have a question for you. What was it like when you were the backup to Nicholas Backstrom? Did you ever think you'd see this day where you're getting a $49 million contract? And why could you not play more there? Was he that much better than you? <laughs> oh, yeah, back then, there's, uh, there's no question. I... You know, obviously, I always dreamed uh, about playing in a NHL, but uh, to me, that was a that was a you know a long journey, and it's been a long journey. But uh, but actually, that was I think that was a good time for me. I I learned a lot, a lot from Nick, and uh, he was and he he is one of the better goalies. He's a he's a great guy, and uh, yeah, for sure. Back then, I wanted to play more and. Uh, and I had a chance to come over here in uh, in national organization. Uh, it was uh, it was an easy decision. Uh, mostly, you know, even though I didn't know what to expect, I I knew that I have a have a good chance to uh, you know play more games and uh, get better. But uh, you know, I always always remember those times in my hometown. Thank you. Hey, Pekka, it's uh, Jim Dino with the Examiner. I know negotiating a contract during the season can be somewhat of a distraction. How involved were you in the negotiations, or did you let your agent pretty much handle most of that and only get routine updates from him? Well, I want to thank my agent. I want to thank uh, Tom and uh, ownership group and David uh, for making this uh, uh, really fast and smooth for me. Uh, I didn't really have to... The whole time I've been able to focus on playing games, and that's uh, that's the number one priority for myself. So it's it's been easy, and I'm just uh, ecstatic that uh, you know uh, we got it done. Uh, this question is for David. It's uh, Joe Haggerty with Comcast Sportsnet New England. Uh, you mentioned. At, at the beginning, about how much you believe in, in goaltending and the success of a, a hockey team. Uh, my question is, uh, was that belief strengthened? Uh, did it was it affected or changed in any way when you saw uh, what Tim Thomas did in the, in the Stanley Cup playoffs last year, able to you know in some ways help carry the team uh, to, to the Stanley Cup Finals and win? When it seemed like the last few years you hadn't really seen that as much, and it seemed like uh, that point at Detroit Red Wings, you know, invest uh, less in goaltending and more in defense and forwards had become in vogue, and, and it seemed like last year kind of was back to the old way of doing things. I've always uh, believed that uh, goaltending was ultimately, and it's analogous to pitching in, in baseball. I I can't see uh, just having average goaltending success national hockey uh, and. I, I just don't believe in it, and uh, we've had good goaltending in the Nationals uh, all the years that we've been there, and now we have a deep goaltending with uh, with Pekka. Uh, cliche, but the game we play, you know, and I believe the opposition knows we got a chance to win because our goaltender is is really really good, and I think that uh, that helps make other players better on your team. So it's uh, it's an and. Everything is important. Every position is important, but I can't see uh, being successful without having good goaltending. David, as, as a follow-up, you've got a good number of prospects backed up at goaltender, too. How, how do you view those guys as assets now, maybe more so than than prospects for your roster? Well, I think that's premature. I mean, just uh, like with, with Pekka's uh, development, I mean, he came over, played three years in Milwaukee before he got a crack at playing the NHL. He and I have talked about this uh, in the last year or so, and in my humble opinion, this was one of the best 
development processes that uh, anybody's ever gone through, and I think it, if we didn't quite do it that way, I'm not sure that we would be exactly in this position today with Peck and, and uh, the level of play that he's at and the dollars that we're, we're paying him. So, uh, again, I, I know it may not be terrific news to any young goaltender in our organization, but if I was them, I would take a deep breath and realize that uh, they are now have uh, a guy playing in front of them that is one of the best goaltenders in the National Hockey League, and they can learn a lot from him. Best goaltending coaches in the National Hockey League, and they can learn a lot from them. And uh, again, I try to say this with all due respect to forwards and defense. And I think a goaltender, once he he makes it, sometimes it's a little bit later than them, but they often can play a lot uh, a lot longer in their their career uh, in terms of age. So uh, you got to be patient. It takes a little bit longer to develop as a goaltender, and uh, that's what we'll have to get across to our to our younger guys. Hey, uh, David, it's Greg Custis with uh, ESPN. I'm just curious, you know, based on your conversations that you've had with with Ryan and Shay's camps, I mean, how do you think this signing impacts those negotiations moving forward? Well, I can't think of anything other than uh, positive. I mean, they, uh, I'm, I'm singing matter of fact, praises because I believe them, but I think if you were to talk to Shay and Ryan specifically, I would think they would totally echo what I'm saying right now. Uh, I spoke with both of them this morning. They're ecstatic that we signed uh, uh, I mean, again, our, our goal is to sign these players and to add other players to our team so that we can beat and win a family cup. I mean, we're uh, both for ownership and for the player. The goal is to get the highest up in front of the youngest team in the league. And I stated many times that I think there's probably a little bit of patience that we all have to exhibit at this time, but I think we're going to be better as the year goes along, and I know if we can keep this core together, we're going to be better in the second half of the season. I know we're going to be better next year than we are this year, so by Pekka signing for this many years, I think it gives us a, a terrific opportunity to be successful. This is Jesse Spector from the Sporting News. Um, Tom, you've talked about you know getting off the floor and having your payroll be the highest that it's ever been. Are you at a point where you're willing to go you know, closer to the cap than to the floor. All I can all I can say is this: the Hockey News had a cover article called Flashville, talking about how we couldn't afford to sign these three players. And I'm looking forward to writing a little letter to them, pointing out that we did. So uh, the, the the money is there to to sign these guys, and we have every intent of doing it. David and Jim Matheson again. Is this the template now for the other two guys, seven-year contracts, or do you expose that that uh, Weber, since he's younger than Pekka, will be looking for something longer than seven years and Suter the same? Um, I think we have to uh, treat these all all individually. I don't think anybody's going to be exactly the same as to amounts or, or years, and I, I think i got to keep that whatever information I have at this time to, to myself. Uh, everybody has different different uh, motives, different different goals. They're all a little bit different in, in age, so uh, we'll just have to see how it plays out. David, this is Kevin Allen. Uh, just following up the last couple of questions, can you just in general terms say where, where you are in negotiations with Suter and Weber, and by that I mean are you in daily talks or are you just you know waiting or where are you at exactly? I, I would like to say I'm in a consistent uh, rapport with them and with their agents. Uh, I, if uh, we had a, a deal, we could sign Shea until uh, at least uh, January 1. Shea and his agent were waiting for the second half of the season. And, again, with all due respect to Pekka and, and Ryan, Shea is in a different situation. He's a restricted free agent versus an unrestricted free agent. Uh, with Ryan Suter, his agent is Neil Sheehy. I talk to him on a, on a regular basis. Uh, he's... Uh, told me that he's going to come to visit me to be our second or third visit this year uh, in, in a couple of weeks in, in Nashville. So, uh, again, you just I, I just characterize things as a consistent uh, rapport with both the player and the agent.